Hello, ESS crew. It's Kara Lenorovitz, and welcome back to our 14th week of this segment. We're getting very, very, very close to the end, um, but we have just a little bit more of a push to get the, the finish line. So let's take a look at what we have for housekeeping here. Most of the stuff is going to be familiar to you. Please make sure you're using the weekly learning plan as a resource. Um, we will continue our synchronous sessions this week and into the next couple of weeks at our regular time. Um, office hours, again, will happen at regular time this week. So Tuesday from 8.30 to 10.30, Wednesday from 1 to 3 in the afternoon. In terms of upcoming stuff, we are in our final module of the year. Um, you've been working really hard all year, but hang in there for this final stretch. I also want to remind you, as many of you know, if you have work that is more than two weeks past due, uh, that work is as it's being evaluated. If it's missing, replaced with zeros in the gradebook. And that's for a couple of reasons. One, so that you have the most accurate reflection of where you are grade-wise. And two, as a reminder to you that you need to go back and complete that work. There are two really important deadlines that you do need to pay attention to. We discussed these last week and I just wanna bring them back to your attention as well. Uh, the first is that on May 21st, that's a Friday, that will be the deadline for any segment two work that was scheduled from modules six, seven, or eight. Um, so if you have any past due work from those three modules, you need to make sure you have it turned in no later than May 21st. That's three weeks before the close of the segment. Um, and so that is your deadline for that work. The second deadline that you need to pay attention to is May 28th. That is also a Friday, the following week. Um, and that is the deadline for any work from module nine, through to the end. So that will include your module nine work, um, all of the assignments that are part of module nine, your DBA and your exam, as well as your engineering project, as well as your collaboration project. So we'll delve into a couple of those momentarily. Um, just so that you can get a sense of where we are visually, here we are on the 3rd of May. We have four weeks total, including this week before we are wrapping up for the whole segment. Um, so again, you can see a couple of pressing things coming. Um, I do want to let you know, we'll look at the details of this in a moment, that you're going to bring with you to class this Thursday your choices for our collaboration project around geologic time. And you'll also be scheduling your upcoming Module 9 DBA. Um, you're going to be scheduling during class on Thursday for a time either on Monday the 10th or on Friday the 14th. Again, here are those two deadlines we just talked about a moment ago. The deadline for Module 6, 7, and 8 work is coming up on May 21st, and the deadline for Module 9 work is coming up on Friday, May 28th. So here's the broad overview of this week. Um, you're going to start out with the last new content piece of this module and of the year, which is on mechanisms of movement. You're going to be evaluating um, how we can detect and understand where earthquakes actually occurred, so where the focal point is, and also where the epicenter is. And you're gonna be interpreting seismographs to understand that. Um, and as part of that, you'll also be learning a little bit more about where earthquakes and volcanoes are most likely to occur. From there, you're gonna be delving into your discussion-based assessment. Again, this week, you're going to be scheduling your appointment time for your DBA next week. And you're also gonna be preparing your answers to the discussion-based assessment question. The third thing you're going to be working on is the segment two collaboration project. I'm going to ask that in advance to our Thursday class, you preview the criteria for this assignment and that you come prepared with your top three to five choices for geologic time period that you'd most be uh, intrigued to investigate. We are going to collaborate as a class to put together a presentation that will take us through the most recent geologic era um, and understand what's going on biologically and geologically during those time periods. And we're going to be thinking about that from the perspective of Earth systems. And then the last thing, of course, is on Thursday that you are attending class. So let's go ahead and take a look at the weekly learning plan. All right. At this point, the setup is really familiar. You'll see familiar, excuse me. You'll see a quick introduction at the top, the learning objectives that we're going to focus on throughout this week. Um, reminders about communication and about pacing. And again, those deadlines that are coming up are listed here for you as well. And then your to-do list. So there are four new jobs that you're going to be completing this week. Um, again, is the first one is the geologic events lesson and lab. I've included, as usual, some additional resources here. I encourage you to explore those. 
And for the lab, I wanted to just point out a couple of things for you. All right, when you are working on 9.05, you're gonna work your way through the lesson. The lab itself is described on page seven. So you wanna make sure you feel comfortable and confident with the content before you delve into the lesson itself. For the lab activity, you're gonna download the geologic events lab report and you'll have ability to also look at the grading rubric. You wanna make sure before you actually engage in the lab that you do this set of tabs that's here. So you're gonna start off with the introduction. Make sure you read that just to give yourself some context. You're then gonna be doing some strategic practice around reading seismographs. So remember a seismogram or a seismometer is a device we looked at last week that will detect any P waves, S waves, or other energy waves that are released during an earthquake. Um, so you're gonna be looking at and interpreting seismographs, which are the record of that movement. Um, you wanna make sure that you're particularly familiar with what P waves are, what S waves are, and how to interpret this SP interval, which is the time frame between when the P wave first arrives and the S wave arrives, as you're going to be doing a large number of interpretations of that within the lab. So you want to make sure you feel very, very comfortable about that. You also want to make sure you are comfortable and confident once you've figured out how to identify the SP interval time, that you are comfortable and confident figuring out how to actually calculate the distance between that location of the seismogram and the epicenter of the earthquake. So this is going to take you through practicing that. Ultimately, what you're going to be doing in the lab is you are going to be creating a map that shows how far away a specific earthquake occurred from three different seismogram stations. Um, your map ultimately is going to have circles of a known radius and where all three of those circles intersect or come very close to intersecting is the epicenter of the earthquake. So make sure you're doing this practice as part of that lab. Your second job is going to be to start to get yourself ready for your module nine discussion-based assessment. So make sure you take a look at the overview of when those discussion-based assessments will be scheduled. They will happen either on May 10th or Friday, May 14th. Um, you're going to be scheduling and reserving your appointment time during our synchronous session this week, but you might want to look at your calendar so you know what's available to you. And you can go ahead and start as soon as you are ready, preparing answers to the questions that we'll discuss during that DBA. So I wanted to just remind you that there are a couple of ways to find that. It's linked in the weekly learning plan. You'll also find a link to the upcoming Module 9 DBA on our homepage. And as you know, you can also get there by going through the modules section and going to the DBA sections. Once you get there, you're gonna see the overview of what's gonna happen in this DBA. This will be a live small group synchronous discussion-based assessment, so different than the last one that we did. You'll see an overview of the times available for your section, what to expect. You're gonna see all those questions there so you can start to go ahead and prepare your answers to those questions. As well, you're gonna be completing a reflection for this DBA and as usual, all of the questions and all of our discussion will be based on the learning objectives from the module. So those are all right there for you. And your third job for this week is to start working on the segment two collaboration project. Our project is going to be structured a little bit differently in this segment from last segment. Um, so we are actually going to be collaborating together as a full class. To get ourselves ready for this, um, I'm gonna ask that before Thursday, you review the collaboration project criteria for parts one and two. So let me show you that's linked right in the weekly learning plan. You can also get there from the modules section and click on segment two collaboration project part one. And when you get there, you're gonna see much more detail about how our project will work. I'm gonna ask that you read this in advance. When you come to class on Thursday, I'm hoping that you've read this in advance, that you've thought about these different geologic time periods that we're gonna be investigating, and that you come prepared with your top three to five choices. All of these are from the Phanerozoic era, um, which is an era that we hadn't explored in as great of detail in our previous learning. So make sure you're coming prepared with those. Um, you can go ahead and take a look from there. Once everybody gets one geologic time period, we will then step back and take some independent work. You're gonna be doing some background research to better understand what happened during that time period 
and you're going to be making relationships back to Earth systems. What were Earth systems like at that time? How are they similar or different to Earth systems and interactions today? And what were some of the major changes and life forms that happened during that time period? From there, you're going to make one slide as part of a collaborative presentation in which you're going to introduce us to that time period. In our final class meeting of the year, we are going to collaboratively deliver our presentation which, with each person being responsible for presenting on their time period. So make sure you read through that carefully for yourself so that you have a good understanding of what we're doing and also so that you can come informed to make a good choice. Um, all of these time periods are incredibly fascinating and there's some really interesting content there, so there is no bad choice. And your last job, of course, is going to be to attend our synchronous session this Thursday. So here's our quick summary. Again, you're going to start with 9.05, the Geologic Events Lab. Do make sure you're uh, accessing those additional resources and make sure you're doing the practice leading up to the lab. For 9.06, um, your Module 9 DBA preparation, you can go ahead and begin to preview and prepare for the questions. And you're going to be reserving your DBA appointment during our class time this week. So those appointment times will be made available during class. You're going to be reserving an appointment either on Monday, May 10th or on Friday, May 14th. You're also, third job, going to be reviewing the uh, collaboration project criteria. You want to come to class on Thursday with your top three to five geologic time choices, and we're going to confirm your geologic time period in class. Um, fourth thing, of course, is to attend class. And then obviously, if you are behind schedule, this is a really important time for you to press on that gas pedal and get yourself caught up. If you do need help, please reach out during office hours. I look forward to seeing you either in office hours and in class on Thursday. Have a great week.